Why'd you stand me up last night? I started to call. I was gonna call him. I just couldn't. Because you lost the fight? Maybe, yeah, because I lost the fight. Got 20 pounds on me. I never should have fought him. Why did you? Everybody said I could beat him. Who's everybody? My mother, my brother. But also the best thing, the best thing we had in this movie, which is uh, really the best thing you can have, is the movie itself as the piece of advertising. So we opened, you know, when you have a three or three multiple, four multiple for a movie, even a five multiple, that's pretty amazing. When the movie opens to a certain number and you five times that is what the end, uh, ultimate domestic domestic box office is, and we opened to eleven. And we're already at 92, so our multiple, you know, our multiple is way beyond that. So it just it shows that the movie speaks for itself, and, and the advertising. Obviously, you have to advertise to get people in, but once people saw it, the word of mouth really spread. Yeah, I think we're out in theaters, and what are we? Week 12, 11? Yeah, we opened, you know, the middle of December. Week 11, and we made over a million dollars, you know, this weekend. So, uh, how, how many how many screens did you did, did you have on the? We're only in about now. We're only in about uh, uh, just under six hundred screens. Yeah. But but on the first week, how many screens? Oh, I think twenty five hundred. Well, the first like the first week we opened in three screens. We just we did a really really uh, like a very teeny kind of platform. We opened in three and we did it amazingly well. And then the, the week in, after in, that, in three different uh, towns or in the same town. No, three different towns. Yeah, yeah. It was one in New York, one in L.A., and one in Boston, I believe. Um, and then the week after that, I think we had like 22 or 2300. So was it was it a strategy uh, to, or was it a test, or why did you open just on three uh, screens initially? Just to get some word of mouth going and people talking about the film. Okay. So that's, that's kind of paid previews, right? Yeah, and it had to do with our, our distribution date and uh, that it, it made sense. Uh, I think uh, the Johnny Depp uh, uh, tourist. tourist opened and it was a way of getting people uh, talking about the film but not going wide until after some stiff competition was on that weekend. Okay. So look, uh, I think that we're done with the, with the, with the fighter, unless you, you know, there's other things that uh, you'd like to to talk about. Uh, I have I have a question for you. So you said that you had a first look deal with with uh, Disney, right? So uh, how are you positioning yourself, you know, uh, with a deal like that? Do you f consider yourself as independent producers or producers that are more attached to a studio? Well, we tend to do studio films, whether it's Disney or Paramount or uh, Warner Brothers, where, wherever. We we tend to we tend to do studio pictures. But um, you know, I've had a relationship with Disney for twenty some odd years, and I've been affiliated with them either as an executive or a producer on a first look or second look. So I've had. Uh, you know, a long, long standing relationship. I think I'm the last guy standing from 1985 now <laughs> of, of the whole group that came and, and joined the studio. Um, so we, you know, we, we, and we value that relationship. We know how to make films uh, for them and, and they trust our ability to, you know, to make movies for them. So it's a, it's a, it's a great situation because they, particularly now, they're making a certain kind of film, and that allows us the opportunity to also, if they don't want to do it, to uh, go elsewhere. Yeah, and you know, we, we were able to release The Fighter and film the Muppet movie in the same year, which is pretty cool, and I don't know how many people get to do that, and, and now we're developing the Jungle Cruise ride with uh, Tom Hanks and Tim Allen. So there's a lot of really interesting things going on at Disney too um, that we're excited about. Do, do you do you hear about this project about uh, uh, Jim uh, Hansen's life? Yeah, yeah, the Muppet Man. Mm -hmm. are Great you, script. Are, are you involved in, in, in this project or not? No, that's something Disney owns, um, and uh, it's a, it's a script that 
I'd read a while ago and suggested to those guys they read it because it was so good. Um, I hope that movie gets made. It's really compelling. It's uh, Lisa Henson's producing it. It looks like it's going to be one of the directors that we represent that's going to be directing this. He's amazing. We love that guy. Michael Gracie? Yeah, he's amazing. He's fantastic. I highly recommend you to him, you know. A phenomenal he, he, guy. He, he's, he's fantastic. He's very, very uh, gifted and he's very reliable. And, you know, and, you know, if you happen to have a project and that you do it with him, this is going to be... Uh, so you guys represent him? Yes. He's amazing. We, we really like, we've had several meetings with him and yeah. really, really like him. Great guy. Okay. Uh, so you're not really in the situation that uh, you have a project and you, you look around to, to find, uh, you know, uh, finances for, you know, for a project that are not from the studios, you know, like independently with having, uh, you know, uh, an international sales agent and stuff like that. You're, you're well, not we really do not sometimes. Studio. I mean, that's, you know, David's background is, is from the studio world and my background is from the independent financing world coming from Summit um, from years and years ago. <coughs> So, kind of, you know, well, you know, like I said before, our taste range is kind of all over the map. So we love to do the big studio movies, and and there are certain scripts that come across our desk that might be smaller in nature, independently, kind of the independent style movies that we would need to go out and find financing for, and those are ones that we would do too. And we've we've attempted a couple of them; they haven't quite frankly been successful, and they're very difficult to do. Um, I find it harder, you have to work harder for the little ones than you do for the big ones. And you don't get the rewards, I, at least that's been my experience. Well, that's my, that's my experience too. <laughs> but you really, you look at it, I mean, quite frankly, you look at a movie, you look at The Fighter, and, and that really is, it's an independently financed movie. I mean, and had Relativity not come in, there could have been a way to finance the movie independently as well. But that wasn't re that wasn't through a studio, so I consider that an independently financed movie. What what was the production budget on that? About twenty twenty two. Twenty two. But we had about eighteen to make it. Everything else was bank uh, and and other contingencies and so forth. Okay, well, um, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye.